Hey everybody and welcome to day two of Swift at Eurobike. Today is all about immersion into Swift. So we're going to talk to Wahoo and see about their new product they've just displayed here, which is the new headwind unit. We're also going to talk to them about the new kicker. And I believe Cyclops has something on display that might just rock your world. Eric Min will also be walking the halls once again with his top picks of the day. And last but not least, we've got DC Rainmaker himself telling what he thinks is new and exciting on display here in Friedrichshafen. Ray, DC Rainmaker, it's now the second day of Eurobike. What's caught your attention so far? I think it's a blend between things that are super high-end and things that are super practical. Um, so at the high-end, you've got like the Elite uh, 40 Pista, and then you've got um, in the middle of the range, you have like the Tax Neo Smart Bike, and then now at the kind of lower end of the range, you have things that are more practical, but still really, really good, like the Kicker Core, for example. Um, and then of course, you have all these like accessory sort of things, like you know, you got fans and uh, climb and stuff like that. And in the case of Cyclops, you have their moving platform that shakes the whole bike. So I think companies are looking at it and saying, okay, we've got the core of the market, we're gonna go play with the high end briefly, we'll play on smart bikes, and then we're gonna look at how do we make this experience just totally different. We're seeing a lot of immersion tech coming around, specifically related to Swift, like the smart bikes, the, the, the headwind we got behind us, and the rocker plates. Like, what do you think of this, and where do you see it going in the future? I think we're going to keep on seeing that, that trend continue. I think, um, you know, right now it's definitely more of an experimental trend. So the trainer, indoor trainer companies with things like that, that may cost a lot, right? Like that Cyclops platform won't be cheap. And so I think it's great. Um, it's also kind of maturing some of that um, garage DIY type environment that used to be there on rocker plates in the past, um, which is, that was really the fostering and the start of the whole thing. So like, it's cool to see something that started off as a garage movement, move its way up into being almost a production thing from a, a full company. Thank you very much, Ray. You can head over to DC Rainmaker to see a blog. We're going to head back over to the Swift stand to get a better look at the headwind new um, unit from Wahoo and also the Kicker Core. Jose, Wahoo have really brought their A-game to this Eurobike. I mean, you've got the new Kicker, you've got a, a, a Kicker Climb now available for sale, and last but not least, the, kicker, the Wahoo headwind. Yep. And for this year, the one thing that we really kind of rallied around was silence. Right, so the, the sound that everybody has known and come, come to know about the kicker is now completely gone. So it's super silent. It's, um, we've actually done some tests on decibels and it's like below library sound levels. So it's, it's just, we're really excited about that part of it. And we've also um, increased the weight of the flywheel to 16 pounds and we've adjusted some of the, some of the algorithms to even kind of refine that road feel. As I'm standing here, I'm feeling the wind this far out from that headwind unit. Yeah. Talk to me about that fan. So the kicker headwind um, came about from cyclists who make products for cyclists, right? It's how we're always in front of a trainer. We're always sweating up a storm in a big intervals. And uh, it was one of those things. We wanted something to kind of continue to, to develop that immersive experience on the bike, uh, a good experience on the bike. Um, so the headwind is basically the first indoor smart uh, smart fan optimized for cycling. And last but not least, kicker climb, Jose. The thing I'm most excited for, this thing now available in the stores. And it really just becomes a natural rolling in the climb, standing up, um, you know, sitting down, moving back or forward in your saddle to get the right position. Um, so it's just a better way to train indoors. And if you're not looking to get this entire deluxe wahoo setup, You've also announced the Kicker Core. What is that all about? So the Kicker Core is, um, is a vehicle for us to provide Kicker Road feel to a community of cyclists who maybe can't get to a Kicker standard, Kicker price. So it's a sub $1,000 to $899 US um, trainer. And um, it's, uh, it's a little bit more simplified, but it has a 12 pound flywheel and it still gives you that legendary road feel that the Kicker provides. Thank you very much, Jose. We're now going to head out into the hall and have a look at some more immersive cycling equipment. Eric, the Cyclops platform, moving platform, why do people need this? Um, well, the biggest thing is comfort, um, is what we're looking at. You know, we want to be the experts in indoor movement, and so comfort comes uh, is a really big part of it. Uh, the more movement we get, uh, the less saddle pressures uh, and that sort of thing. There's also just the, the, the in more of immersive experience as well. So immersive experience, comfort, um, goes a long way. I mean, have you actually tried riding on this? Like, how does it feel? 
<laughs> it feels pretty amazing. Um, yes, absolutely. So the platform is going to do side to side movement. And what we've been playing with is also for aft movement, which we find actually much more valuable than the, the side to side movement. When can we expect this Cyclops platform to come out? Uh, we don't have a date right now. We're out here uh, kind of getting feedback from everybody. We want to know exactly what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, how we can uh, make it better. Uh, but uh, no, no, no dates yet. Thank you very much, Eric. Now over to another area. We got Mr. Min walking the halls. Oh, thank you very much. All right, let's go. So what do we have here? Because. Uh, I yeah, so we've got the, uh, the new edition of the Kickless Mount Trainer. So, and I uh, noticed it's hollow on the other side. What, what's the max power? Uh, 2,200 watts. So okay. we're going to do a bit more work to get there. For <laughs> most people, it should be okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I've ever gotten beyond like 1,300 watts yeah. on a trainer. All right, you're about to go up this gradient. Okay. Let's see. There we go. It's moving. Let's stay at 3%. Let's stay at 3%. And do you feel, you notice that yeah, you... Yeah. Okay, and then it'll flatten out as soon as you get to the top. Yeah, we're heading back towards the beach now. And let's see how. Let's see how yeah, very smooth. Well, All right, here's uh, the, here's the big question: Can I have more than one fan? Yeah, sure, sure. You can pair them using your uh, the Wagyu Fitness app, and then you okay. can set them through that. So you would just have. So for fans. Zwift, can I have two fans running at the same time? Why not? Thanks, Eric. That also wraps up day two of Swift at Eurobike. Today we had a look at some of the immersion that's coming to Swift very soon in the near future. Hope you like this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow.